keeping up with our motto that learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with the remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning students! Welcome children to one more session of standard 3 environmental studies lesson number 1 our environment. Children, we see many things in our environment such as soil, stones, rocks, mountains, hills, jungles, fields, roads, houses. At many places we see barren lands. A barren land means infertile land or a land which is too poor to produce any vegetation. At many places we see rivers, streams, lakes. We see many kinds of animals, trees, bushes and climbers. All these things make our environment very, very beautiful. We human beings too are one of the important part of the environment. But all things in our environment are not same in all aspects. To prove this, let us compare a stone with a sparrow. If we observe a stone, we see that a stone does not eat or grow. It remains where it is. Its place changes only if someone picks it up and places it elsewhere. But this is not seen in the case of a sparrow. We can see a sparrow moving from one place to another by flying. It eats grains and insects and gradually grows. It builds nests and lays eggs. Young sparrows hatch out of these eggs. Just as your mother takes care of you, a sparrow also takes care of its young ones. So, from this comparison, it is proved that a stone is a non-living thing and a sparrow is a living thing. Now, let us see the points of difference between non-living things and living things. Non-living things cannot move. Living things can move from one place to another. Non-living things don't show growth. Living things show growth. Non-living things don't need food, water and air to live. Living things need food, water and air to live. Non-living things don't reproduce, that is, they don't give birth to young ones. Living things reproduce, that is, they give birth to young ones. Our environment is made up of living things as well as non-living things. Living things are such as plants, animals, birds and of course we human beings and non-living things such as buildings, bus, a ball, books. Your school bag or your tiffin box are non-living things too as you carry them to school. They don't go to school on their own. Well. Living things are of two kinds, plants and animals. First of all, let us learn about animals. Animals move, eat, grow and give birth to baby. See this picture. It shows the stages of a kitten growing into a fully grown up cat. Plants. Plants grow from seeds. Seedling grows from a seed and further it grows into a plant. This tells us that plants are living things. Plants need food also. Plants move too. For example, observe this picture. When a bird blooms into a flower, its petals open up. But such movements of plants are not easily seen. Well, you must be thinking that plants don't move. Then how come they are living things? Well, of course, plants don't move like animals. This is because their roots hold them down firmly in one place under the soil. This is a big difference between plants and animals. Let us summarize what we learnt in this session today. 
environment is made up of both living things and non living things non living things don't show any type of changes living things show movement growth and reproduction living things are of two kinds plants and animals i hope this session was fruitful to you thank you for watching we'll meet we'll meet next time in the next session until then keep watching and keep learning thank you